Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Sarah Bernard and my guests are Craig Schmidt and Sergeant Carl E. Cunningham. We're learning about the city of St. Louis's Department of Health and most importantly, the Good Samaritan Law. It's very important that our community members know about this law. Simply call for help. No one's going to get in trouble. That boils it down, right? Don't run, yeah. call 911. Yep, don't anyway. run, call 911. Right. So, so uh, we were talking in the last segment about just the increase um, opioid overdoses, um, right. alcohol overdoses, all kinds of um, situations in our community that, uh, that might require someone to call for help, but they're afraid to because they're afraid they're going to get in trouble or, they're, or the, the victim might be in trouble as well. So what are some situations um, where they won't get in trouble? For example, um, if they have paraphernalia with them, talk right. about that. So we, um, we don't ever encourage people to use uh, or have substance use disorder use, but in fact that does happen. So under this Good Samaritan law to encourage people to call, if you have uh, drugs that are on the scene, if you have drug paraphernalia, um, if you have, uh, if, if you would be in trouble for probation and parole because of some of the things that are around in that location, if you have, uh, have sold uh, alcohol to a minor, anything dealing with purchase, sale, um, all of that uh, with regard to alcohol for a minor. Um, if you have small amounts of drugs, that is that you're not actually going out and manufacturing drugs or you're not some major sales thing that's going on there. Just the basic day-to-day -day thing, you should absolutely call 911 to save a life. And as long as you are there providing that assistance making that or making that call, you're fine as well. We want to encourage people to do that. Okay, so you're fine and the person who needs help is fine. And well. the other people who are rendering assistance who stay there and help that person. Absolutely. Yeah, right. right. Sergeant Cunningham, in your experience, are you finding that, um, are there any circumstances in which somebody wouldn't be protected under the Good Samaritan Law? And, and I'm glad you bring that up. It's a very important point because the law isn't obviously all absoluting, okay? I think our legislature, they did do a good job at being able to, to establish some situations or when you are protected, as, as Mr. Smith just alluded to. But there are some circumstances that people should know that you won't be protected, such as if you have an active warrant or, or wanted that's already listed. Uh, I do not believe it protects you, uh, protects the person from the actual sale charge if you actually sell the narcotic to a person um, and anything un and any other charge that may relate from that scene that's unrelated to the drugs in itself there's not necessarily a, a protection there for you from the law uh, officers what I'm seeing on, on scenes are officers when they're responding to these scenes they exercise great discretion in their use and application of this law and knowing how to put identify those who are simply just in need and recognizing other uh, situations that may be present at the time. So uh, as of right now, as it's being enforced by our, by our officers on our department, it's being greatly uh, adhered to as far as the discretion that's given officers to recognize a need for help rather than a need for arrest. You know, another one that we didn't talk about is the restraining <coughs> order situation and you're supposed to stay also. away, but many times people are still doing drugs together. And we really want to make sure that in those circumstances, it could be someone with whom you were married or just uh, an acquaintance, but you have a restraining order. They're not supposed to be anywhere near you. You're doing the drugs, and so you're afraid to call because you'll be in trouble because you violated that restraining order. In this circumstance, the Good Samaritan Law is there to protect you, and you should absolutely call. Yeah, so really, right. if in doubt, call, call for help. I mean, Please call help, for our, help our help our friends, our family members, our loved ones, right. people that we see that need help on the streets. And, and if I could, the more important reason why I always say please call is because from, from our experience in research and, and medical doctors and, and medical examiner can all attest to this, no one dies from a drug overdose immediately. There's mm. always time to get someone the help they need. So please just call and let us get there to try to save a life. Yeah, that's an excellent point. That's an excellent point. There's always time for help. The Good Samaritan Law protects um, our, our citizens, the everyday citizens um, of St. Louis. Um, so please definitely call 911. And thank you both, um, um, Sergeant Cunningham, Cunningham and, um, and Craig Schmidt for joining us today to share with us today. So we'll be back with more STL Live in just a moment.